Manalangin tayo upang sa papalapit na pambansa at panglokal na halalan ay tunay na maghari ang kalooban ng Diyos na siyang gumagabay sa lahat ng bansa. Sama-sama nating idalangin, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pamimilit, pananakot, karahasan at terorismo. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panloloko, pagsisinungaling at pagbaluktot sa katotohanan. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panunuhol, kasakiman at sabuatan upang makapandaya. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa kawalang muwang sa panlilimlang at makitid na pananaw. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pagbabanta, pananakot at lapastangang pananalita. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Sama-sama nating idalangin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang aming budhi ang siyang gawing tunay na pamantayan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kabutihan ng nakararami ang aming pinakamataas na layunin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang dignidad ng tao ay palagi ang igalang. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kapuspalad at mahihina ay pag-ukulan ng higit na pansin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pangangalaga sa kalikasan ay hindi ipagwalang bahala. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pagkakaisa ay magbigay daan sa landas ng kapayapaan at kaunlaran. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang banal na pagkatakot sa Diyos at pag-ibig sa kapwa ang maging gabay ng mga nagnanais manungkulan sa pamahalaan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Manalangin tayo. Pastol ng aming kaluluwa at tagapagligtas ng sanlibutan, ang politika ay iyong kaloob sa amin. Isang paanyaya upang maglingkod sa iba at lumago sa kabanalan. Gabayan mo ang politika sa aming bansa, katulad ng paggabay mo sa amin. Nawa ang aming politikal na pakikilahok para sa mga botante at kandidato ay magdulot ng kaluwalhatian sa iyong mahal na ngalan at matulungan din kaming yumabong sa kabutihan, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we offer this Mass most specially for our country. As we choose our next leaders, we pray that we listen to Jesus, the Good Shepherd, who will lead us to leaders who are truly shepherds among us. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. 
Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who arranged all things according to a wonderful design, graciously receive the prayers we pour out to you for our country, that through the wisdom of its leaders and the integrity of its citizens, harmony and justice may be assured and lasting prosperity come with peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and the brothers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles too had accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers confronted him, saying, You entered the house of uncircumcised people and ate with them. Peter began and explained it to them step by step, saying, I was at prayer in the city of Joppa, when in a trance I had a vision, something resembling a large sheet coming down, lowered from the sky by its four corners, and it came to me. Looking intently into it, I observed and saw the four-legged animals of the earth, the wild beasts, the reptiles, and the birds of the sky. I also heard the voice say to me, Get up, Peter, slaughter and eat. But I said, Certainly not, sir, because nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time, a voice from heaven answered, What God has made clean, you are not to call profane. These happened three times, and then everything was drawn up again into the sky. Just then, three men appeared at the house where we were, who had been sent to me from Caesarea. The Spirit told me to accompany them without discriminating. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He related to us how he had seen the angels standing in his house, saying, Send someone to Joppa and summon Simon, who is called Peter, who will speak words to you, by which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remember the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift he gave to us when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life, giving repentance to the Gentiles too. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand.
A thirst is my soul for the living God. A thirst is hind, my soul for the living God. As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Please stand. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice as he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, they did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen. Amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I thank the Lord for all of you who are joining me in this celebration, even those who are watching through our online broadcast of this Mass. At ngayong araw po na ito, sa araw po ng ating eleksyon, sa araw ng ating halalan, ay isa lang po ang aking paalala sa lahat. Magdasal, Bago bumoto. Pray before you vote. Nitong mga nakaraang araw po ay 
madami kong nagpapadasal sa akin, nagpapapray over sa akin, mga mag-e-exam, mga may espesyal na intensyon, mga mag-asawa na gustong magkaroon ng anak, at mga walang asawa na gustong magkaasawa. Iba't ibang intensyon. Pero marami ko sa atin, no? lalo na tayong mga Katoliko, tayong mga Pilipino, bago natin gawin ang isang bagay, nagdadasal muna tayo. Nung isang araw nga, eh, may mag-e-exam sa dentistry, no? nung may mga magdedentista, lahat pinablesan niya sa akin, uniforme, panyo, lapis, ballpen, pati mga ngipin, no? pinabless niya sa akin, nagagamitin niya sa exam. Lahat tayo, bago may gawin, ay nagdarasal tayo. Pero bakit nga ba tayo nagdarasal? Hindi lamang para makamit natin ang gusto natin, kundi maliwanagan tayo ng Diyos. Kapag nagdasal ka, bago ang gawain mo, nagiging payapa ka. Kasi nagiging maliwanag lahat para sa iyo. Sa Ebanghelyo po natin ngayong araw na ito, ay narinig natin si Jesus pinapaliwanag sa kanyang mga alagad. Sino ang tunay na pastol at sino ang peke na pastol. Minsan kasi, sa unang tingin ay hindi natin agad makikilala. Pero dahil sa paliwanag ni Jesus, nakilala natin na ang tunay na pastol ay siyang may malasakit sa kawan. Ang peke na pastol ay magnanakaw at nariyan lang para kumuha para sa kanyang sarili. Kaya nga mga kapatid, sa araw na ito, bago tayo bumoto, magdasal ka muna. Sapagkat ipapakilala ni Jesus sa atin, sino nga ba ang tunay na pastol at sino ang magnanakaw. Makikilala natin kung sino ang gustong piliin natin para kay Jesus kapag nagdasal tayo. Sa unang pagbasa natin ay nakita din natin kung paanong ang panalangin at pagdarasal ay sinasagot din ang tanong ng mga alagad. Sa unang pagbasa nakita po natin ang kwento ni Pedro kasama ng iba pang mga apostol. Naguguluhan sila sapagkat tinatanong sila, dapat ba nating tanggapin ang mga hentil sa pamayan ng Kristiyano o dapat ang kanila lamang mga kababayan na Hudyo? Dahil may ibang nagsasabi sa kanila at sinisiraan sila na hindi dapat tanggapin ang mga hentil. Subalit sa pananalangin, sa pagpapakilala sa kanila ng Diyos at pakikipag-usap ni Pedro sa Panginoon, sinabi ni Jesus sa kanya na dapat tanggapin kahit mga hentil sa pamayan ng Kristiyano. Mga minamahal na kapatid, kapag nagdarasal tayo, naliliwanagan tayo. Nagiging tama ang desisyon at nagiging payapa ang ating kalooban sapagkat tama ang desisyon na ginawa natin. Mga kapatid, sa araw po na ito, ipakalat niyo po yan, magdasal bago bumoto upang maliwanagan tayo at maging payapa ang ating pagpili sa araw na ito. Nawa, mga kapatid, sa ating pagpunta sa mga presinto para tayo'y bumoto, manalangin, magdasal, bago bumoto. Amen.
Please stand. The Lord is the good shepherd who knows each one of his flock by name. Let us offer our prayers to God, trusting is in his personal love for us. For every petition, let us say, Divine Shepherd, keep us in your care. Divine Shepherd, keep us in your care. That the Holy Father, God's chosen Shepherd, may lead us into the ways of righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, Shepherd, keep, keep us, us in your care. care. That Christian believers may become one flock, under one shepherd, let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, shepherd keep, keep us in your care. care. That our young people may have life and have it to the full, through fidelity to the Good Shepherd, let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, shepherd keep, keep us in your care. care. That the sick and those who suffer may trust in Jesus, the Good Shepherd who came to rescue the lost sheep. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, Shepherd, keep, keep us, us in your, your care. care. Let us pray that we may have a peaceful, honest, and credible elections, that we may elect leaders who uphold the values we hold dear as Christians and Filipinos, faith in God, truthfulness, integrity, decency, and concern for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, Shepherd, keep us in your care. care. That the dead may pass through the gate of the sheepfold and rejoice with the shepherd and guardians of their souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, Shepherd, keep, keep us, us in your, your care. care. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and let us offer special prayers for our country today. Most gentle Father, you guide us along the right path. Your Son is always here beside us. Comfort us by granting these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, 
Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. 
never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all of you for joining us in this celebration of the Eucharist and in this moment of prayer before we vote. The Manila Cathedral will be open until 5 p.m. today and we will have another Eucharistic celebration, Holy Mass, at 12.10 in the afternoon for those who would still want to come and pray before you go to vote. Bukas pa po ang Manila Cathedral maghapon at mayroon pa pong isang misa ng tanghali para po sa mga nais magdasal at hinihikayat po natin lahat bago po tayo magtungo sa ating pagboto. Magdasal po bago bumoto. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.
Yeah.